In this session, we will see how to join a meeting in Microsoft Teams and how to control the attendee and chair screen. First of all, we will go to uh, the calendar and we will check the meeting that already assigned to us. I will click on join and in this way, I'm joining the meeting. Don't forget to close the mic and the camera and click on join now. We are joining a meeting online. So here we can also work with the settings. We can click on the share button to share our screen or maybe select a PowerPoint to share it or even a whiteboard uh, for collaboration. And this is what we will be doing right now. We will click on the whiteboard so that we can do some brainstorming together. As you can see, we have the message that we can allow others to collaborate with us on the meeting or on, uh, sorry, on the whiteboard. So here, if I took a note and put it in the space, uh, I can click on edit and uh, type my messages. I can put emojis uh, as a voting, for example. Uh, I can also copy this text or even I can uh, lock it if I want. So if I click on lock, so no one will be able to edit this note specifically. On the other side, we can also benefit from the templates. So here we have several templates for brainstorming. So if we want to have a meeting and brainstorm about a certain topic, all we need to do is to select the template and put it in the space. As you can see, this is a wide space that you can move around. You can increase and decrease the sizing so it will fit your needs. And since this is collaborative, everyone who is attending this meeting will have the option to write down on the notes and collaborate with us on this meeting. We can edit the headlines if you want or headings. Uh, we can use the pens to just uh, draw or write if we don't want to type. We can also highlight wording if you want or simply erase whatever we are writing. When we finish from the whiteboard, we can also share our desktop, for example, if you want to share uh, some details on the desktop. So here we have three options, entire screen, window or Microsoft Edge. Don't forget to uh, check the box, which is share tab audio so that the student will hear or whoever is attending with you the meeting will hear your audio. And then we will click on the word share. Also, we can uh, share a PowerPoint, as you can see over here, uh, by simply sharing the slides and moving between the slides. Uh, to achieve this, we simply click on the share button one more time. We will see the uh, PowerPoints. We can select the one that we need to share. And in this way, the slides will be displayed for the attendee. And this is very efficient way because we can monitor, uh, we can chat, we can see who is raising their hand and so on uh, while we are presenting. So let's uh, see the option over here. We can simply start recording the session since everything is settled and we can see the red button over here telling us that the session uh, started recording. Uh, we have also options for blurring the background and changing our background if you want to open the camera. Uh, to monitor who is raising the hand, we will click on the people icon and we can see uh, the raised hand next to the person that already raised their hand to uh, ask us a question. Uh, we can click on the three dots to manage permission or to download the attendees list. Uh, and this is all from the people icon. In order to chat with the attendee, we will click on the chat icon and here we can simply type a message. Uh, we can send uh, emojis, uh, as you can see. And also we can uh, click on the three dots to see uh, more options that we have, like uh, Microsoft Forms. So let's say we need to select a form uh, from the apps. And now we can include a question. For example, uh, we can say, uh, what do you think uh, about this session? Do you like it? Uh, do you uh, have uh, like... Uh, 
uh, any feedback and so so while we are typing the question you see the artificial intelligence started giving me options so i click on add all and in this way my question is ready also i can select the record names so that i will have the names of uh, the attendee who are uh, like uh, giving their feedback to me after i preview it i will send it and in this way it will appear in the chat for the student or forever who is checking this um, like uh, meeting and once they click on any uh, submit vote i will be able to see the percentage over there when we finish from the form we can simply click on the three dots and uh, stop the recording so now we will have the recorded uh, session saved and also don't forget to click on end meeting so that the meeting will be ended for everyone who is attending this session with you. If the meeting was done within the Microsoft Teams or within a team that you have, the recorded session will be saved automatically under the meeting as you can see. Uh, so here we can uh, simply click on the meeting and we can have uh, uh, several options including the download option where we can download this video or we can take a copy of this video or we can share it across now automatically it is shared with the people within this team and also we can click on the options to see a more uh, options to share this uh, video with also we can either block download or allow editing if we need if we are in a hurry and we don't want to schedule a meeting, we can simply click on meet now and open a meeting by clicking on join now. Here we will get a link for this specific meeting where we can share it via email or simply copy it and send it to uh, whoever wants to, sh to join our meeting. We can also record uh, the sessions that are created in the Meet Now and use the same functionality that we did when we created the meeting within the Microsoft Teams. Uh, the only option or the only difference is that when we stop recording this meeting, as you will see, the uh, video will be saved under the chat. It will not be saved in a team. It will be saved under the chat. As you can see here under the chat, we will have a chat called meeting with your name. For example, here we will have an attendance report and the recorded session that was done. Pay attention that this is expired. So if you care about the recorded session, you can simply download it.